Bush administration, Mexican truck pilot, because, of course, the trucks don't meet U.S. standards, the drivers don't meet U.S. standards, there's safety issues, the trucks are not going to be inspected. They don't let our trucks down there. And, you know, our trucks, first of all, most American truckers wouldn't want to go to Mexico. They probably wouldn't end up end up with their rigs stolen and themselves by the side of the road dead. I mean, the point is, the Obama is just as much of a globalist, as, if not more, than George Bush. Obama campaigned on that he was going to renegotiate NAFTA and save U.S. jobs. He's doing the opposite. He's going to open the border. We're going to have Mexican trucks back in the United States. So we got to put pressure on Congress to block, block that key part of the SPP. Well, and again, we now got the Trusted Traveler program in place. Uh, on November 30th, Janet Napolitano signed the program with Mexican. Mexicans now, 80-some million of them estimated, can become trusted travelers in North America. They get a card with a map of the continental, U continental North America on it, no uh, borders. Mm. They swipe it through a global entry terminal, and they come into the United States. Go to globalentry.gov. Yeah, that's the SPP right there. We're all being integrated right now. Dr. Corsi, thank you so much. Appreciate you joining us. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow, step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Alex told you the government announced recently that the recession is over. It ended on June of 2009. The millions of Americans unable to find work might not agree. Perhaps the recession ended for the bankers and government employees, but for the rest of us, things seem to be getting worse. Gold and silver haven't heard the news either. They've begun their long-expected journey to the moon. In addition to converting your shrinking dollars into gold and silver, you should consider a food savings account from eFoods Direct. They both make fabulous investments. Food is our greatest dependency, and we know it will be more precious than any financial resource. You and your family need food to survive a crisis, and you can't eat paper, stocks, or metals. Alex has been urging you to invest in delicious, easy-fix meals to enjoy now or save for long term. This will freeze the cost of your food while you can still afford it. Visit eFoodsDirect.com on the Internet or call 800-409-5633. That's eFoodsDirect.com or 800-409-5633. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're going to open the phones up with your take on the Chinese flags flying up and down Pennsylvania Avenue. The media is just everywhere saying China's wonderful. They're good. America's bad. Uh, globalism is good. Henry Kissinger. I saw the clip earlier. It was just on Charlie Rose last night about big news crisis has been perfect. What we're doing now is the world is accepting the new world order. I've got a ton, a ton of news I want to cover, including Obama may call for gun control during State of the Union. This is huge. 
uh, Steve Watson report with all the uh, attributed links there to AFP, NBC. Obama may call for gun control during State of the Union. I had a plan today, and it's always successful if I do it in the first or second hour. If I do it in the third hour, it's generally successful. I don't do it as much as I used to because it's such a powerful tool. I want to use it sparingly. But by doing Google bombs, uh, by making search terms, number one, it makes a lot of other news pay attention to it. It makes a lot of people link to us. It makes a lot of people go read our story. So they get the full spectrum of what's happening. It's not just that China is a threat to our liberties and freedoms and driving on our wages. It's that it teamed up with the globalists. So I want to do a Google search. We did this a week ago, and we made the number one, number two, and number three search, all three of the searches we launched. You did an incredible job together. So before I get into some of this news and open the phones up, and the toll-free number, by the way, is 800-259-9231. They're announcing, oh, housing's worse than we thought. Oh, interest rates are going up. Oh, this was all planned. They've been lying to everybody. They knew this was going to happen. They've done this over and over again. I want to get your take on it. 800 259 9231. Then we'll get into Obama and the gun control. Uh, there's another article here at prisonplanet.com. Congressman, Senator, or President Ron Paul in 2012. And uh, Ron Paul says he's seriously considering a 2012 uh, Senate run after he was voted Texas' most popular choice to replace outgoing senator in a recent survey. He'll be joining us Friday from Texas, uh, from down there in Lake Jackson. Uh, so we look forward to that in the first hour on Friday. I guess that's tomorrow. And more and more, he's creeping towards it. But but I think the presidential run's the way to go. The Senate's a shoe in He'll win. Super pop. I mean, in Texas, it's 84% approval rating. <laughs> Gallup. I mean, nobody gets that. Uh, it's over 70 nationwide. Um, you know, do, do you go for the one bird in the hand or the 5,000 birds in the bush? Even if he loses, which he probably would, the educational opportunity, the platform. But I was going to get into a bunch of other issues with Ron Paul tomorrow, but I'm obviously I'm going to be raising this. So uh, that's coming up. Huge article. Health authorities want depression-causing drugs added to the water supply. This is actually happening. That's up on PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com. i got to say my writers, Aaron Dykes, Kurt Nimmo, Jason Douglas, Paul Watson, Steve Watson, they're all on fire uh, with the uh, incredible job they're doing, the amount of piercing articles they're writing every day. But I want to... Well, I'm going to take some calls for a while, then I'll start getting into all that news, because I haven't been taking a lot of calls lately. But before I do that, uh, there were a couple news articles written yesterday that are so important that people need to see to get the full spectrum of what's happening. China plants flag on Constitution Avenue, Kurt Nemo, and the other one, by Paul Watson and Alex Jones, meet the new boss, China owns the United States. But then you read deeper, they're just the receivership arm of the banks. They're a shell corporation. So China wouldn't be this big threat if there weren't insiders in our country that had made treasonous, traitorous deals with them. And this is all on record in these two articles. Now, I want these to be read and seen by folks, and they have been read and seen by a lot, but I want them to be seen by even more. So let's make... These articles, the number one and number two search terms, and you can choose which ones you think you should enter into Google over and over again. Do it 20, 30 times, you know, type it in, then put a cursor in it as if it's a new search and just hit enter again. Uh, click on the articles, email them out to folks. There's more than one way to skin a cat and get the word out. Uh, but let's do China new boss, China new boss. And that'll lead them to meet the new boss. China owns the United States. Let's do China, new boss. Three words, China, new boss uh, is one search term, China, new boss. And the secondary search term, after you're done entering that, if you want to reach millions more people, uh, is China plants flag. I think that ought to be the number one search. China plants flag. And you go to Google, go to Yahoo, whatever you choose, enter it over and over and over again. Uh, you know, while you're there at your coffee break or whatever at work. And in just a few minutes, I mean, in fact, guys, give me a document can shot for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers because I get emails about this. Some folks don't understand what I'm talking about. Or, or not even a document cam shot. With the document cam, show them my monitor across there, please. I'm going to show, or, or, or you guys can do it live, I guess, on Google. All you do is go to Google using this Pentagon tool against the globalist. Again, I'm not even against the Pentagon, but it's been created and controlled by the offshore banks. 
and you go there and you simply type in, and I know most of you know this, but some people get confused by it because they sit there and try to retype in the whole line over and over again. You don't have to do that. And you just type in, where did my article go? There it is, China plants flag. So China plants flag, and you hit enter. And then after you hit enter, you see the top search, Infowars.com, second search, PrisonPlanet.com. And then all you do is you click news. This is one way to enter it over and over again. You hit web, you hit images, you hit videos, you hit shopping, you hit Gmail, you hit more, you go back. Because every time you're doing this, it's researching it. You understand that? If you could just sit there and click links up here with that search term in there and do it over and over and over again without having some artificial engine that does this for you. Or you can go up and plant a cursor. I'll show folks. You plant a cursor in the middle of China plants. Of course, I might want to spell that right. I hadn't looked at what I'd spelled. It's hard to talk and walk and chew gum at the same time here. Okay. And so once you have China plants flag, you just put a cursor in it, and then you hit return. And then you go up and replace the cursor, and you hit return. And each time it reenters it, and that's the uh, most effective uh, way uh, to do that is to yeah, – you guys don't have a cursor on it, so it's not going to search. You, you, you plant a cursor and do it. Yeah, there you go. So – so that's how you get the word out, ladies and gentlemen, and it's uh, very, very effective. And so I hope people will search the term China plants flag. And then the other one, uh, meet uh, China new boss, China new boss and China plants flag. And we will certainly expose to people exactly what's going on with the globalist uh, on that front. Let's take 20 minutes of calls or so that I'm getting into uh, Obama's frightening anti-gun uh, agenda, which he's emboldened by his 15-point uh, bump. Watson had another article about that today. Remember all last year I kept saying all these White House advisors and pollsters kept saying Obama needs a crisis, a tragedy, an Oklahoma City, a 9-11, something to pose as our savior, something to pose as the protector, uh, the, uh, the, the comforter. And now he has a 15-point bump in Gallup. And it'll be short-lived. It'll last a few weeks. But but still, imagine what a city being nuked would do. And then they've got their whole police state set up, and even cops who know what's going on with the New World Order and military will still just, I know, Alex, I know it's bad, but we're taking the guns. The Al-Qaeda hit Chicago. And let me tell you something. If they nuke Chicago or D.C. or Dallas or something, even set a little one off, they are going to come arrest me. Okay, They're going to try to, to arrest some big fish, uh, in the alternative media to scare everybody to shut up. When they go for full bore martial law, Oklahoma City and the 9-11 were just in the preparatory phase. You can see now they're going on every front. And if you give in to fear and don't put up the signs all over town, the day they nuke a city, the day they nerve gas a city, the day they blow up 15 buildings, you know, they could do a grab bag of things, the day they have 500 pipe bombs detonate simultaneously and they trot out some mentally retarded patsy on TV, the day they do that, you got to hit the streets at night with hundreds of flyers saying stage terror. To